What's going on guys? It's your boy Squeeves here and hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can't, sorry, but this is what we're doing in today's video. I'm going to use it and hopefully I can show you guys how to use it too. I mean, I'm not great at it. I'm pretty sure. Well, how do you know? Um, all I know is that you cannot like over oil your filter or else you can get on your mass filter sensor. So anyways, let's go. Let's just first of all open it all the way. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you'll be getting, oh look, another cleaner. And I think this is the oil. I don't know what happened to the other one. The air filter oil. We've got two power cleans, one oil, air filter oil, which I mean obviously you're not going to use the whole thing. Um, you know what? Free giveaway guys, if you want a chance to win power clean Canon air filter cleaner, all you gotta do is subscribe to every single channel on YouTube. Look, I've got BMW parts over here because my Z4 is all disassembled and being sanded and basically waning to be painted. But, freaking rain. Okay, let's see what we got here. It looks like I am reading a bunch of crap. All I gotta do is apply cleaner. Step number two, rinse the filter. Step number three, dry the filter. Step number four, oil the filter. Detailed cleaning instructions available here. Easy enough. So, I already forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I'm not even going to bother using the old one just because, like I said, it's old. I don't know if it goes bad or what, but... Probably not. It's probably just like soapy water. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and use this and spray it down. Do I shake it? I feel like I need to shake it. I don't know. Test spray. Bye. Okay. Remove the C clamp. I feel like I need to go kind of heavy, you know? I mean, after all, it is supposed to be clean. Right? Plus it's going to be soaked, so... Look at that little puddle. I don't want to touch it. Touch this one. <coughs> Honestly, it kind of smells like a, uh, I think like a carpet cleaner. I think that's what it smells like. To be honest, a carpet cleaner would kind of make sense, but now we're going to go rinse it off. Oh, look at this poor thing. It's sanded. It's really dry today. Well, not really dry, but it's really sunny. So, hopefully, it'll stay like this for a couple days, but I'm gonna rinse this out with my water hose. You see the dirt that came off the filter right there? On my gloves. Yee! Hopefully you guys can see this all right, but... I mean, you see like the dirty water is kind of coming through, it's a little brown. Ooh, it gets more brown as I click. Nice. I mean, it's getting a little bit clearer. Not by much, but... I'm probably rinsing it out too much. <laughs> that is step one done. Step two, rinse the filter done. Dry the filter. What's he doing? Let me try that. Honestly, it's not really working very well. It still feels super soaked. Um, maybe I'm not doing this right. You know what? We're going to let it air dry. <laughs> we will be back to oil the filter tomorrow. 
So here we go. I'm gonna drop this in, and tomorrow I'm gonna be taking it out. Okay, so I'm sitting here cleaning up, right? Got my glove off, and I'm thinking, man, you know, it really sucks. I gotta wait till tomorrow. So if I look immediately to my left, I see my giant <laughs> leaf blower. And it's like it would fit, oh, wasn't even looking. It's like it would fit almost perfectly. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but uh, I probably can't because of the light, but it's definitely spitting out a ton of water. It's mostly dried on the inside now. Got some dust on the top. <laughs> well, um, like I said, I'm gonna let this dry. But I was messing with the box, and if you look down in there, piece of paper. And if we take that piece of paper out, looks like <laughs> it is instructions. Step one, apply cleaner. Easy enough. Let's see here. <sighs> Rinse filter, cool, low pressure water. That's what we did from the clean side. Out. Yep, so we did. Maybe necessary to repeat steps one through two. I don't think so because, I mean, it's not brand brand new but also has not been on my car for a little while it's basically been collecting dust um so cleaned all the dust out dry filter after rinsing gently shake off excess water and allow filter to dry naturally crap <laughs> okay we may have to come back and do that again uh aerosol oil spray can and air filter oil evenly along the crown allow wick to dry for approximately 20 minutes Touch up any light areas on either side of the filter until there is uniform red color on all areas. Okay. I think we're good to go. Just let it dry for approximately 20 minutes, it says. I'll definitely let it dry longer since I didn't let it naturally dry, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Can you see in there? Okay. Well... I mean, like that's wet, but I think the filter's dry. So, honestly, I think we're good to go. Just gonna give it a quick dry. I'm basically just trying to dry off like the chrome bits. Obviously I'm not trying to touch the filter too much. I got a glow on because I don't want that oil on my fingers. Alright, honestly to me it looks really good. Has a good red color all the way around. It is nice and dry. I guess that's how you clean your oil filter. crazy in there. I don't know why I did that. I was just curious what it would look like. Alrighty guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I think it came out really good. I'm super excited with the way it looks. Hopefully I'll be throwing it on pretty soon. Like I said, got to get a heat shield. I don't know why I can think of the word heat shield, but yeah. Um, the only thing I would do differently is I guess let it naturally dry. really shouldn't take that long. I use a leaf blower. Worked, I guess, but wouldn't recommend it because I don't know if it would mess it up. Don't know if I put too much oil. I don't know. That's how I clean mine. Looks really good. Probably gonna end up throwing it back on my car whenever I get a heat shield. I was out of focus there for a second. Sorry about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's free. So, enough talking. Goodbye.